Well, hello, farming friends. Welcome back to another edition of Farm and Simulator 2015 with me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose. And today we are doing another course play tutorial for you. Today we are going to cover how to do bale wrapping in course play. And so, yeah, this is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial for you guys. If you've already watched the um, uh, tutorials on how to do... Um, bailing and how to do wind rowing this is going to be real simple for you you just got to go back and watch those videos because all of this cues off of that so what we have here is our bail wrapper and the thing about our bail wrapper that we have to remember is that we have a little bit of an offset on it because the tool works off to the side so the important thing is to just remember that and you'll be good because we'll be using the tool offset feature uh, for this now, uh, if you'll remember from our tutorial on our wind row, we set up a course for wind rowing, and that course is what we're using right now. As you can see, our baler is following the wind row course and making bales. Now, um, I will state for you on this, uh, this whole automating of bale wrapping, there is a little bit of a flaw that can happen because the bales are round and they can roll down the hill and they end up way away from where they're supposed to be so you do have to go by and do a little manual work on this and in controlling it but for the most part uh, you can just take care of this manually and it's no big deal so here we go we're going to go into course play and we're going to be in the field work mode we're going to go into our uh, manage courses and under field 40 we're going to select the course that we're using for Winrow. now in this particular instance I used uh, the 12.5 course for everything I used it for teetering Winrow, and bailing so that's the course we are going to follow and then we have to come over here into lane offset and I need to set my tool lane offset I need to set that for 2.5 meters to the left and by doing that it's going to make sure that uh, the tractor moves just to the left of the course and puts the tool in the center of the course, which is where it needs to be to pick up all the bales. So with that in mind, we turn around here, we come up to the little thing, and again, we're 2.5 meters to the left on our tool offset, and all I have to do now is drive the course. Oops, I want to drive from the first waypoint. There we go, drive course. It'll get this right now. All right, so it's going to come up here. It's going to start. Again, we're offset 2.5 meters to the left. So as we run up here. And again, we didn't have any bells on the beginning here because the uh, when I wind rode, it pulled all of the grass into the second lane. So at first, I'm going to miss these first few ones. And that's just because they're not actually in this lane. But as we get around the course, we get up to the head, we've got a roll up here, and we're going to pick that up, and we're going to actually bail it. And I'm not actually doing anything other than watching this happen. So it picks it up, puts it in place, does its little dance. And then it'll set it off to the side, and then we'll continue to go. And that's really it. It's just a matter of when you do your wind rowing, you save that course for your wind rowing. You follow that same course for bailing. You say follow that for your wrapping. And when you do wrap, just make sure that you uh, you go ahead and have your tool off set to 2.5 meters. That way the tractor's off to the side, the tool is actually following the course, not the tractor. With that done, this guy will run around the course, it will pick up the majority of your bales. Again, you're going to have that one or two bales that misbehaves uh, and rolls down the hill just a little bit, especially if you're on a course that's really steep and uh, you have one little errant bale get away from you. I think I've had one bale on this field get away from me and it it happens every time I do round bales. It rolls down the hill uh, and ends up right over here to the left of me as we go down after we drop this one off. It is what it is. You can't do anything about it uh, other than just go fetch that one manually after this runs. But this will give you the time to do other things and then you can go catch that one or two bales 
uh, that gets missed. See the one sitting over there to the left? Every time that happens to me, so. Can't do anything about it. So that's it. That's how we set up course play to uh, do our round bales. If you got any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. I will answer those for you. Um, hope you like the video. I hope this helps you out a little bit. Um, this is sort of one of those things that's a little bit boring. Uh, it's kind of cool the first time you do it. Uh, and you watch the, the whole animation or wrapping bales. But it gets old after a little while. And there's uh, other things you could do while this is actually running around the field uh, collecting uh, the bales for you. So uh, automate it. Let it do it for you. And then you can just go back and, and catch the one or two uh, that miss. And see, we're going to pick up the actual first north-south run here. And it's going to catch these bales that were uh, on that actual row. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you liked it, make sure you give me a thumbs up. It goes a long way helping me out. And uh, until next time, I'm uh, Mr. Moose. This has been the course play tutorial on how to auto wrap your round ball uh, bales uh, with course play. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, stay safe. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye. Hey, thanks again for watching this video, and if you made it all the way to the end, well, maybe you liked it. So give me a big old thumbs up. That like goes a long way. Also, subscribe to this channel. I will update the videos every single day, so there will always be something new for you to see. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll come back again tomorrow. Thanks for your support.